Hey, this is a video overview and assembly guide of one of our scaffolding tower package offerings. It is our five foot standard stationary tower. It comes with a set of five by five ladder frames, three aluminum plywood scaffold planks, four base plates, a five by seven guard rail system, along with pigtails, stack pins, and spring rivets to hold everything together. I need to mention that this package comes with base plates and not the level jacks shown here. Base plates are metal footings that pin in the bottom of a scaffolding frames tube. And a level jack is a base plate with a threaded rod attached to provide independent adjustment of each leg. And they're a wonderful upgrade, but they do not come included in this package. And when you're ready to begin assembly, you're going to start at the ground by fastening your footings. And again, base plates come with this package, but instead what you're going to see are level jacks. Whatever the case, it's always best to install your footings with your frames laying flat on the ground. And when you go to install the level jack, it's important you spin the wing nut all the way to the lowest point of adjustment where the wing nut is in contact with the base plate. And that way you can run that threaded rod all the way up inside the tube of the scaffold frame. With the footings in place, we are ready to assemble the frame set. On level jacks or base plates, these frames may or may not stand up by themselves. So it's best to have someone assist you at this point. You're going to attach the cross brace ends of the first brace to one upright while someone holds it and secure the flip locks so they can't come loose. Then you're going to grab the second frame, stand it upright, and secure the remaining ends of the first brace. At this point, the frame set will stand up on its own, so you can lose your help, grab the second cross brace, and attach it the same way you did the first one. The braces are held in place by a gravity flip lock. It has a hinge tab that you turn in parallel with the stud so that you can slide the cross brace over. Then you turn it perpendicular to secure the brace. With the frames upright, we can now insert the stack pins into the tops of the frame's tubes. Stack pins are what allow us to stack things on top of the set, be it additional frames to increase the height of the configuration, or in this case, a guardrail system. The stack pins are held in place by what we call a spring rivet. You compress the rivet inwards, allowing you to insert the stack pin, align it with the holes in the frame so that the rivets pop out of the frame, holding it in place. These are where we'll mount our safety poles, which hold our safety rails, allowing us to build a 5x7 guard rail around the platform at the top of this unit, and these are held in place with a pigtail. You can see here, this is a very common fastener in the world of frame and brace scaffolding. Now we're gonna place one of those safety poles on all four corners. We're gonna make sure the studs, the horizontal tabs, uh, about midway up the pole, are facing inward, pointing towards one another. And at this point, we're gonna build the platform out of our aluminum plywood walk boards. However, I wanna note that the order of operations here is not important. And you could have built the platform prior to assembling the safety poles. We like to assemble the safety poles first because uh, it feels a little safer when you get up on top of the platform to assemble the rails if the poles are already in place. It just feels better with something around you. Assembling the platform is simple. You're going to grab one of your scaffold planks and step inside the frame set carefully so you don't trip. You're going to raise it above the main horizontal beams and allow its hooks to come to rest on both, spanning them. Make sure those hooks are entirely seated over the horizontal beams and then slide that walkboard to one side to make room for the second and third. They are 19 and a quarter inches wide, so three of them build a complete five foot by seven foot platform. And this is a great alternative to ladders, especially if you're gonna be working at height over longer periods of time. Ladders are great if you're gonna be on them for a few minutes and you're moving around quickly, but when you're working at height for hours at a time, a five by seven platform is an unbeatable solution. Several men can stand and work comfortably on these platforms, 
with all their tools and materials and still have room to breathe. But not without first finishing the guardrail system. It's as simple as every other step in this process. The package comes with four five foot safety rails and four seven foot safety rails. Those build guardrails waist high and knee high all the way around the perimeter of the platform. And they're secured by gravity flip locks, the same way that the cross braces are attached to these frames. As our video nears its end, the tower will come together and the benefits of these configurations become increasingly clear. Scaffolding towers provide something no other solution can. A quickly assembled, sturdy, safe work area at height. Not just something to stand on, but somewhere to work comfortably. Thanks for watching.